hello and welcome to coders column my name is sunny solanki and in today's video i will explain how to create a hex bin charts using python data visualization library matplotlib we'll be creating charts in jupyter notebook so without further ado let's get started as you can see on my screen i already have a jupyter notebook open and at the beginning of the notebook i have included a sample hex bin chart now hex bin charts are commonly referred to as 2d histograms and the normal histograms uh, let us see the distribution of uh, data samples for one quantity whereas hex bin charts let us see distribution of data samples based on two quantities two different quantities so in this example i have shown a simple hex bin chart of alcohol and malic acid to different quantities and uh, over here we have a color bar which shows the number of samples that belongs to particular combination of that two values so over here let's say that this value represents phi then alcohol around 13.75 and malic acid around 1.75 will have around five, five samples in our data so let's move on and create this hex bin chart using matplotlib so first of all i have imported a python library matplotlib and printed the current version which is installed on my system now over here i am loading a wine data set so wine data set is easily available from a python library scikit-learn the data set has information about various ingredients used in creation of different types of wines so over here i have loaded a wine data set as a pandas data frame and displayed the first few rows of that data set so columns are ingredient names as you can see and the last column is wine type so this is a categorical variable and there are three different types of wines 0 1 and 2 so we will be using this data set to create our hex bin chart so let's go ahead and create our first hex bin chart now in order to create a hex bin chart i will be using pyplot api of matplotlib so let me go ahead and import it First of all, I will create a figure object by calling plt.figure method. I will set figure size to let's say 10 by 8. Then I will create an axis object. So I can say figure dot add subplot. And I want just single chart, so I will set it to 111. And in order to create a hex bin chart, we can simply call plt.hexbin method. And we can provide x and y axis value so i'll be using is i will be using alcohol values from our wine data set for x axis and malic acid for y axis so let me go ahead and do that alcohol y axis will be wine df of malic acid all right i think we should have our X bin chart so let me execute it all right so we have our first first hex bin chart ready but as you can see by default there are many hexagons created by default this is 100 by 100 so if you want to change this grid size there is a parameter named grid size which you can set to integer value or tuple of two integer if you want to specify same value for x and y axis then you can specify single integer over here and if you want to specify different value for x and y axis then you need to give tuple so i will be giving a tuple over here so let me execute now yeah now as you can see this one looks better now the hexagons are properly visible now the default color map is where it is and if you want to change it then you need to set c map parameter so i will set it to another color map named magma so this one looks better compared to this default one so right as you can see so let's go ahead and add color bar to our chart as you can see now we have a color bar of our chart so for x axis we are representing alcohol y axis we are representing malic acid and each hexagon represents number of data samples that has this value on 
on x-axis let's say for example this one so let's say that uh, around 13.5 value of alcohol and around 1.75 value of malic acid has 10 data examples so 10 data example has those values okay so let's go ahead and modify axis labels and title so i will say x label equal to alcohol y label will be malic acid blt dot title will be alcohol versus malic acid x bin chart let's modify the location of title to lab let's add little bit of padding below it let's say font size 225 and font weight to bold let me copy this one okay let's set around 16 font size for x and y axis label so let me execute now and show you how it looks so now this one looks quite better let's do one last thing now we have proper axis labels and a chart title as well let's do one more thing let's remove the four lines which we see over here which are generally referred to as spines so we can do that by calling a axis spines on axis object and we can say like bottom top left and right all four of them set visible to false and let me execute this one and now as you can see now we can only see the tick labels and ticks but not the lines so now this chart looks quite better so here we have our first hex bin chart ready showing distribution of data simple based on alcohol and malic acid values so let's go ahead and modify few properties to improve the look of a chart so we can uh, modify the line size around each hexagon using line width parameter let me set it to 1.5 and you know and i will change the color of line to h color using h color parameter to white so let me execute this one and show you how it looks yeah now this one as you can see now this one looks even better now if you want to modify line style let's say then you can use line style parameter and it accepts different strings like dotted dash and so on let me set it to dotted and show you how it looks yeah now as you can see the look has even improved you can also set alpha parameter if you want to decrease the intensity little bit of hexagons so as you can see now this one has intensity decreased okay so this way you can modify uh, line properties around hex hexagons of hex bin chart so let's move on so now we will uh, explain how you can include range of values in color bar so over here as you can see we have 0 to 10 so 0 are the hexagons well there are no samples in data set so for value of alcohol around 14.75 and around 0 0.5 value of malic acid there are no data samples if i want to see entries where there are at least one uh, data sample present so i want to see entries where one or more data samples are present for combination so i can do by setting min count parameter so i want minimum count to be at least one and i want to see only that hexagons in my hex bin chart so i can set min count parameter so as you can see now we have a chart ready and all the values where there were zero entries zero data examples are removed now if you want to specify upper and lower limit for your color bar then you can do that using vmin and vmax parameter so i will set v mean to let's say one and v max let's say five 
and let me show you how it looks so as you can see now the range is modified of color bar it's one starting from one to five so if you want to modify range of color bar then you can do using v min and v max parameters all right so let's move on now the hexagons we hex bean charts that we created till now are generally 2d histograms so we displayed values which are number of samples belonging to these two quantities now you might want to understand the distribution of some third variable based on the values of our selected variables so we can do that as well so i have copied our previous code and now in order to see the distribution of third variable we can provide it through c parameter so in our case i will be using wine type i want to see how is the distribution of wine type based on these two values so let me show you what is wine type again to remind you that it was a categorical variable which had three values 0 1 and 2 it specifies wine type which can be 0 or 1 or 2 so we can introduce parameter name c and we can give it a list of value which is the third uh, data variable for which we want to understand distribution based on alcohol and malic acid so let me execute this one and show you how it looks as you can see uh, we have our chart ready where we are showing the distribution of wine type based on alcohol and malic acid so to improve the look let me modify C map let me set color H color to black and yeah now this one looks better as you can see now by default what this does is that the values that you see over here in this hexagons are now average values so how it works so let's say that for alcohol over here it's 13.5 and malic acid one so whichever data examples in our data frame satisfy this uh, satisfies this condition where alcohol is 13.5 and malic acid one so all the data examples will be taken and for that data examples whatever will be wine type so the average values of that wine type will be taken and displayed over here so by default the values that you see over here for the third data variable will be average so if you want to see some other function let's say you don't want to see based on average then you can specify which function you want to use so you can do that using reduce c function parameter now this uh, parameter accepts a function that takes lists of lists of value and returns one value so i will let me import numpy as np and by default this is np.min but let's try something else let's say np.max i want to see what is the maximum value all right so as you can see now our chart has three values so what whatever will be the highest value for that combination it can be either zero one or two okay so i think we are done for today's tutorial so here is the summary so we explain how you can create hexbin chart using plt.hexbin method which is available from pyplot api of library matplotlib so if you liked our video and if you learned something new today then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and yeah see you next time